This is for Cascade Facilities Services, job number 5016240-1. This is for Bank of the West, location number 620, located at 3583 Mount Diablo Boulevard, Lafayette, California, 94549. This is down the clean-out located to the left of the front entrance on Lafayette, or, uh, sorry, Mount Diablo Boulevard. It's, uh, in between two planters and it's this uh, chrome mushroom cap located inside of this storm drain cover. that I got into some uh, debris left in the line so we're going to push past that hopefully get into the main wash it off there we go so the line is still thick with debris I said I'm going to try to push and get into the main to where we can wash off the lens. Just heard the toilet flush, so we should, oh, yeah. should see a rush here. Here it goes. I'm not sure, uh, from what I know, the bank is closed right now. So I'm not sure if this line ties in with the restaurant line somewhere. So like I said, I could hear a toilet flush and as you can see there's a large amount of water passing. So I'm going to keep pushing and then going on. So offset there. And so, one of the things that I was really, like, surprised about, like, yeah, There's a lot of connections here. Mike called us all in. You can see the camera jumping around. You can see, the you can see that large offset right here that we're coming up on. The seller is not giving us any additional time. Our business plan was we would have an LOI signed by the time we went on the fund of but by the time we close, we have to go down the road and You're a mess. What do you got? Right? Should we take a walk? Right? Should we? Like, so we talked about it. And that conversation involved us. Right? Oh, this is like. Right. Right, so this is a one-way clean out. We are running out to the street. So I believe we were probably in the main. I'm going to pull back now. Hopefully the lens will stay clear. And we can take a look. So you can see the offset there that, you know, the bright ring along the top. That's where the pipes are offset, and now they're not centered, so it's making more of an oval than a circle out of the pipe. Some of these can be really bad. Some of them can just be, you know, normal. Looks like we got a root right here on the left. See where that's coming from. I don't know, that might just be knocked off. 
might not be. It's not a, it's not a it anymore. It's not a personal, and it's not a, like, like. You can see the camera jumping around like that. Yeah. That's, you know, right it's here, you can see the offset in the pipe right there, you know I mean? it's creating a little turbulence in the water. That one's not that bad. If we see, uh, you know, big offsets, that's going to be an so, issue. Then we have Especially if it's an uh, uphill offset, which will cause a, you know, a version of a wall for waste and stuff to build up on. Well, we're gonna see. So that's a pretty good offset right there that we just passed. It's another good offset there. See, it's almost the full pipe is offset. So here we see a. The sign of a belly. Standing water there. So you got to tie in for, you know, a restroom or something to the right there. That why. I see a lot of rocks in the line right here. That is definitely not a good sign. It means that we have a broken pipe somewhere allowing the rocks in. It would appear to be a leaf. See the large offset right there. Looks like there's a root coming in on the right. Looks like the bottom of the pipe is busted out right here. You can see the cracking along the right side. That's a possible source for the gravel. And you see the, uh, you know, the sediment built up in there. Let's see if we get any more hit, more rocks. It's not going to be. That's not going to be the root cause of it. See some roots coming from the the top and to the left. See that that section there is pretty beat up. The pipe on the right there, and up on the top you can see the roots dangling. But again, these rocks are going to be the main concern if we can locate where these rocks are coming in from. There's to be more as I pull back closer to the clean out. So there's a build up right here. larger rocks coming into view.
you know, it's a, that's a pretty good example of what an offset will do. You can see that offset as I pull back, but you can see how the waist just kind of settles in there. Okay, here we are making the turn. So that's all going to be inside your city main. And this is the turn into your store. So somewhere, somewhere along the line, you see the offset here at your city tap. That's definitely not good, and that's exactly where waste is going to flow to. You can see there's actually something stuck right here. Leaf. So, oh, here's our roots. So you can see a large mass of roots right here coming in all along the top. So the pipe is broken right there, allowing the roots to come in, and that is right at your city tap. Again, that's your city tap. You can see the pool of water at that offset. So we're going to need to, to redo the city tap. And that is uh, you know, roughly 30 feet out. And as we pull back, another uh, large offset with root intrusion. See, that's right at the drop into the city tap. Lots of roots. More roots. Big offset there. You can see how much the, the drop is there. And those roots are just going to keep growing back thicker and stronger every time. And they're also adding to the stoppage of debris. That to me looks like an uphill. That's no good. You can see the pool of stuff, the sediment pooling there. This is your cast iron. So that's your tap from cast to clay. I would suggest, from what I've seen of the clay, that the whole clay line gets replaced. That connection is obviously not that great here with the lift up. You can see how it drops and jumps there. It's like a little ski ramp for the camera. And just imagine larger, you know, things of waste going down there. They're going to have to do that jump. The cast looks alright. It's pretty pitted. You can see on the left there. How pitted that section is. It's caused by the cast iron rusting out. Not sure when this building was built or if this line's been replaced. I haven't seen any rocks, per se, since we got into your guys' main. So this is just in the clean-out. You can see there's a little bit of standing water there. Back in. See, so we were at 34 feet. Thirty-four feet when we started. Let's see where the the clay tap is.
So it looks like 10 feet of clay, roughly 8 feet of clay. So, estimate will be to replace the 10 feet of clay. Obviously that root intrusion is pretty bad. I'm going to locate the depth right now. You can see the drop there. You can see all the roots coming in. Yeah, that's, that's pretty well broken there. And this is your city tap down into the main. The main is where we saw all those rocks. I can call the city and inform them that there is rocks in the line and that, that perhaps their line is broken somewhere obviously uphill from you but those rocks can add to your backup as well so let me locate where this is at the city tap and the depth over 15 feet down, so it's, you know, the highest I can, I can read to, it just says over 15 feet down, that is just beyond the curb, straight shot out to the street, um, I'm going to come back to it right now, see if I can get a better reading. Both of these locations are just over the curb into the street. We'll pull back to the next one. I think we're going pretty vertical right here in this pipe. You can see how the roots are hanging down like that. See where this one's at. So there's a large, you know, natural 
God's made crack, nature made crack, in between two either cuts that are close for the sidewalk. That is directly under that crack is where the line is. This is on the crack right at the curb. Um, that's where this is, and it is six feet seven inches deep, which means this is a pretty big drop here to be sub 15. We're almost going straight down here into the tap. So here we are back at the uh, six foot seven inch mark. That looks like the first bend to the downhill. Let's see where we're at here. So there's already a sewer marking on the sidewalk right at this location, which I'll document in the photos. Uh, it is five feet three inches deep. So we're taking like a two foot drop just over to this next offset, which is then the sharp drop. As you can tell by the movement of the camera, that's a sharp drop down into your city tap. The city main is below 15 feet. So, greater than 15 feet deep. Okay, and here's the connection. So that location is four of the larger square blocks closer to the clean-out from the five-foot, three-inch mark already existing, and it is reading at the same depth, 5.3, which kind of goes to show me that this section here is dropped. That's why you see the big drop in the pipe, so there's no fall in this section of pipe over to the next right here and you can see that this side is vaulted up you can see a little bit of rocks and stuff in the line there from the root intrusion the pipe appears to be fully separated on the top possibly broken causing those rocks to come in but yeah it's looking like approximately 10 feet Actually, there's a rock right there. So we're looking at 10 feet for just that clay section under the sidewalk. I'm going to have to take over. There's, uh, there's one parking spot, which is centered around where the crack is in the, in the sidewalk, right at the lip, the curb. Cast section here doesn't look too bad. It's not a whole ton of debris. That's that's not a bad thing. That's a downhill. This location is
That location is four feet ten inches down, and it is just after the large, you know, regular shaped rectangular bricks in line with the sewer district mark and the clean out. Um, this section, you know, looks like it's got great fall. I don't see any reason to replace that. Everything looks good there. It's like a 45 right here, this connection coming down into the other pipe. See the connection there. Maybe a 22. Just adding fall. There are some rocks here, but obviously I can't go. This is right at the clean-out, so the rock intrusion could be coming from inside the store, which would mean to, to know for sure that we've gotten everything and that the rocks aren't coming from your line. We would have to pull the toilet inside and run the camera through there just to be sure that inside the store there's not a broken pipe under, you know, the, the floor. So I'm going to suggest that we pull the toilet, because you can see how there's a standing water right there too, right at the clean out. You can see I'm in a puddle and then I come back, see my lens reflection. Uh, the standing water is not a good sign. So yeah, I'm going to say that uh, doing the sewer line for that 10 feet of the clay should happen soon due to the, the extensive root intrusion and lack of fall in that one section. Um, location. There are two sewer district marks on the sidewalk marking the points of interest. Um, pipe is running under PG&E lines which are clearly marked on the sidewalk. Um, it would appear as though somebody came out here you know, not too recently based on the color of the paint. But, uh, Somebody's been out here and located the same issue before. Um, I'll put together an estimate and include it with the email for the video. Um, and I will include detailed notes for what I what I see or what I've seen. That is it.